What's up guys? I got back home last night from CatCon and I slept a lot and rested up a little bit. But I wanted to share with you all today what I got. Also the first of videos, a little bit of footage I got from there. So starting off we got a Mad Cat's hat. I stopped by the booth there, met old Matt Knight, real great guy, I liked him a lot. Alright. Got this catch the fever hat. I got a Hellcat shirt somewhere that I had on. I went by the catfish booth. Got that shirt. That's about all I wear when I'm not at work is fishing shirts. So, we got this Catch the Fever shirt. It's got the rod rack and the poles on the back. Also, I got a gray one. Same thing. All right. So, I'm going to need the boat seats. So, I went and got a new pedestal for the back seat. I'm going to move it over a little bit. So, I got the pedestal there. I got two Millennium Marine seats here, which I really like. I mean, if they get wet or dry easy, they're not going to mold. I can soak up water. And they're breathable, so I like that a lot. Alright. I went by the Never Lost booth. Got this jewel here. I think it's 15 pounds. This has got a little zip tie. It breaks away. That way you can, you know, pull forward and get your anchor back. I got a different engine. I got a 9.8 Mercury for my boat this year. So I bought a 60 gallon portable tank, new hose. The engine's had quite a bit of work done to it. So I want everything to be good and new as possibly as it possibly can be. Line this year, slime line. I got the orange, I like the orange colors. So I got green as well, but I got a lot more orange had ice in the boat over the winter so I was up there trying to like get some of that out and I broke the knob off my bilge pump so I bought another one it's 1100 gallons per hour surely God keep the boat halfway dry I went ahead and bought me some of this waterproof patch and seal gorilla spray paint deal I suppose it works good for PVC windows RVs wallet whatever else so hopefully it'll work good on fiberglass or find out I went with a five foot cast net for the boat. So I've never done it. If I fish at the dam this year, like I normally do, I got a four footer. It works better with all the rocks and concrete there, I think. So I bought three pin fathom, level one fifteens. I like them a lot, they're the right size for me. I got a 20, I like it a lot too. It seems like I can sling the 15s a lot farther. I don't know why, but just to me, I seem like I get better results. I bought me some old muffs. We're going to try the engine out. We're going to do that in a day or two. I want to get all the work done to the boat before I show you guys what I've done to it this winter. So, I stopped by. I seen Terry Rogers and Steve Douglas. I got four new rod racks. I mean, rod holders. One of my really good buddies was really nice enough and helped me out to get a rod rack to put on there. So I got a monster rod rack. Okay, so that's about all the new stuff I got going on with accessories wise. But I got a few new setups for this year. Starting off, <clears throat> I'll grab the old orange Hellcat. It's a medium heavy, seven and a half foot long. It's got the pin 15 fathom on it. I'll cast it a little bit. I got this uh, rattle on it. I bought the Catfish Sumo booth when I met old Justin Johnson from Cat Catfish. And I made it cast it good, done good. You guys been watching the channel for a little bit. You've seen these pins before, they got the line counters. I got this uh, Cat Fever uh, Limited 2022 edition. I really like it because it's black and blue. All right. I got this jewel here. This is a medium Hellcat. It's the green one, obviously. It's seven and a half foot. It's rated four to, I mean, 10 to 40 pound test. This is 50 pound test. No problems whatsoever. It's rated one to six ounces. I was slinging out 
12 ounces with the other day. You guys have followed me on Facebook or friends with me on Facebook, here see the pictures. The river was roaring. That's why we don't have no fish pictures or footage. Same, another exact same thing as the other green one. And here's the OG right here. This is one of my favorites. These are my actual favorite rods. If I had to tell you guys what to get, it would be one of these. I mean, it's got the Pen Fathom 2, the 20 level wind on it. <clears throat> I bought this new last year, and so far it's not let me down. It works, it works great. And then here's the medium. It's got the same thing as the green ones has. But for the price, man, you really can't beat them. They're really good. I got a couple of medium heavies. And also we have another limited edition. Same thing as the other one, the level wind, line counter, fathoms. I mean, those to me are really good reels. I like them a lot. The 15 seem to fit me the best. I like the 50 pound test. I mean, I know some guys use a braid and sling it three miles. I don't. I don't cast probably more than 20, 30 yards tops. I don't throw mine too far out, even for the boat or the bank. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And once I get everything set up on the boat, I'll give you guys a tour of it and hopefully catch a lot of fish this year. If you got any questions, reach out to me on Facebook or whatever. Comment on this video if you have any questions. But I appreciate you guys so much. So you all have a good day and I'll get back with you on the water or when I'm working on the boat.